Hello everyone, welcome back to Edgington, the city on the edge, and we might actually be the most, like, the most on the edge we've been in quite a while, because in the course of the evening, um, a couple of goblins kind of cropped up, along with about five or six of these dudes, so one of them is right inside of our perimeter right now, and I don't know if he's going to run like, significantly far enough away before any of our uh, farmers get to work. They're presently eating breakfast at the moment. Um, let's just unpause, see what he decides to do. And hopefully he runs, but I guess we're just going to have to wait and see, pretty much. I mean, there isn't very much that we can do about him. Our archers are presently indisposed working the ballista in case the... Uh, ooh, oh boy, he's coming back in. If I see anybody coming down those on that bridge, I'm going to freak slightly. Okay, I can hear recommend digging. Nobody's gone for the farms. Oh, because I'm not hearing recommend digging, I'm hearing our farmers tilling. Hurrah! They're working over here for the moment. Jeez, what is he doing? I don't actually know who controls whom in this relationship. Um it could just be that the goblin being on the wolf's back makes him ride around erratically, I don't know. But, jeez, I could certainly be doing better I comes here. I think we're gonna have to, like, actually deal with him. I think we're actually gonna have to deal with him. And I do not want to waste ballista fire on his guy, so... Let's see what we can come up with here. So, we want to stand at guard positions. For Samantha, who is at full health. And the same again for Seth. And oh boy, this could get interesting indeed. So here they come. Edgington's finest. Let's hope it really is. Eesh. Okay, there he is. So yeah, in the course of the evening, he cropped up along with a handful of his friends. So, right next to the necromancer and his bonfire, pretty much, we have one little goblin encampment, and of course all of the the uh, skeletons are now way over there, so they're not going to be wandering around dealing with the goblins. And then we had another one pretty much over here, because it looks like we've got two different camps. Uh, or one camp that's really far apart, I'm not really sure. But suffice it to say, we've got issues. And I'm not convinced those issues are going to be working themselves out anymore now that we've got a whole designation to hold the Necromancer off. So, we're kind of in the means of having to deal with this ourselves. Which, I'll admit, I'm a little nervous about. Um, but we're just going to have to see what we can do. So, let me see. This guard position... Allow, whoop, right, yeah, of course, the binding's way off. Two archers. And get you over there. And let's see how this goes. There are at least an absolute minimum of people over here, so we don't need to worry too much about that, at least. That's something, I guess. But, yeesh. Let's see, who else do we have over here? Got just a sheep. Yeah. Another thing is that he'll just ride around, and he doesn't even attack any of the livestock. Like, he doesn't follow the standard wolf protocols, he doesn't follow the standard goblin protocols, he just rides around and causes absolute havoc. Which we have to put up with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yourself. Eesh. Oh. So how are we doing over here? We've got... Um... I forget which farms we have actually set up over here, but I can probably find it out from over here. And keep an eye on him while I'm at it. So, wheat and flax are over there, I think. And I think it's mostly these ones over here that we've actually got going as well. Uh, there's a chicken. There's a couple of chickens out here I could be claiming. Uh, laying my steak on, but no. Because of this guy, I have to keep everybody, like, way back. I want to entice him over here so I can shoot him. Deal with him. You can see another one of his friends right over there. Eesh. Ah, so yeah, this could be a slightly tense 
kind of episode. We'll see. Where's he gone? I've lost him. There he is. Either ride straight in or ride clear off. One of the two. Come on, make up your mind. Grr. Arg. Etc. It's not like somebody was attacking something there. I'm going to move our hole designation. So, pause. I'm going to move it to directly around the camp of these goblins. And see how they like me now. There. So that should drive the skeletons over that way. Okay, nothing there. That's fine. What's our skeleton broski up to? Yeah, he's wandering. He's wandering over. Okay, the skeleton, the skeletons and their necromancer overlord kind of uh, wander around quite rapidly, so... They should be carving a pathway of death to there in no time. Who knows, maybe we can, maybe at some point when we are uh, a lot more established than we presently are, I'll admit, uh, we can perchance use the setups of, well, the, the trails of doom left behind by this necromancer to our benefit. So two, no there isn't. And over here, allow two, there we go. And Seth, I'm going to put you up here. Whoop. So the sound breaks out. Yeah. Still doing that. I still don't know why. But it's still doing that. Oh, hello. Oh, there's two of them around here. Eek. That's not good. I don't know if I can handle two at once. For that, I might actually need to do the... Uh, do the ballista. I'm not sure. Well, the farmers haven't come down here, so that's something good. Eek. Two of them. They're like buses. And how are we doing over here? Yeah, it's sort of a slow march, but they're making their way over. They'll burn every village they find on the way over, so yay, good for me. And... Where's Bernard? Is Bernard being anything but a builder right now? And, uh, Bernard is presently a carpenter. Okay. Bernard! The builder, please, because I believe we have some dirt for you to lay down. And I can keep here. I can. They're they're almost worse than the fire. Honestly, they're worse than hearing all of the little bits of fire over here, because the fire stays where it is. The goblins, not so much. Eek. Oh well, we can deal. For at least the time being, we can deal. Ah, yourself, girl. So, what's how much more building we got over here? Just two more pieces. That's fine. I can deal with that. And then we can lay in. Okay, another farm. So I don't know what farms we have got left here. Um. Not reseeding cotton. Turnips, we can still do. Uh, pumpkins and corn. Uh, let's let's go with pumpkins. Give us a give us a nice little slow grower. So pumpkin seeds. Right there. Skeleton has killed a goblin. It begins. So that was the pumpkin crop. Do not reseed pumpkins. Why am I hearing that guy? Because he sounds awfully close. No, nope, he's not. He's right over there. He's just being a pain. Skeletal infantry in the chest. Okay. Yeah, it is a smorgasbord of death over here. Look at that. Enjoy it, fellas. You ain't coming back. Oh, and Beatrix has leveled up. Hooray! Huzzah, huzzah. Emma's iron hoe has broken. Skeleton's called a goblin. Keep going, boys. I'm, I'm just sort of ironically treating these guys like pest control. 
now. Wherever I put my hole designation is where they immediately start to wander over and just create havoc. I'm quite happy with this turn of events, honestly. I'm quite happy to treat them like pest control. Like, that is perfectly alright by me. I only wish that they would also attack the spiders, but, you know, I guess we can't have everything when we're wielding a necromantic overlord and his undead horde behind him as, like, a lawnmower. <laughs> I'm fine with this. I'm perfectly fine and okay with this. Okay, so there's two of them. And I kind of bet you they're going to come into the exact same area around here at the exact same time and I'll have to deal with both of them. And I don't think you can... And I don't, I don't know if there's any meaningful balancing on whether you kill the wolf first or the goblin first because they count as one entity until one of them dies. And I don't know exactly how it determines who dies first. Grr, I see you there. Grr. Ay, 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 ay. One does not simply farm without a hoe. Are we low on hoes? Do we need more hoes? Is that the thing? Skeleton infantry slain by necromancer. Yep. Uh, do, 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 do. Stone hoes. We are out of stone hoes. Remarkable. Okay, add ten to the list. We've got plenty of uh, we've got plenty of wood for that. Dude, come on! Make it a fight or make it a flea. Pick <laughs> pick one. Just the one. Come on. You're being such a pain. Grr. Oh. Well, at least the... Yeah, we appear to be harvesting the pumpkins pretty close to their growth, so that's pretty good. That means we will not need to worry quite so much about them uh, taking forever to be reseeded, or not reseeded as the case may be. Is there any more goblins alive around here? Uh, nope. Let's get rid of their corpses just so that they're not littering the map and and potentially creating even more uh, worries. So what are we down to here? We've got the Necromancer, and at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven skeletons. He's whittling them away for us, honestly, at this point. I'm really, like, comfortable with this, like, with this turn of events. Um, unfortunately, it seems like the only goblins... Oh, no, there's, like, there's a goblin archer over here. Just, just randomly, there's a goblin archer over here. Not sure where he's headed, and a couple of uh, wag riders that we still need to be concerned about. Um, yeah, one there, and one over here. Uh, but very gladly, hopefully, I don't think the skeletons and the necromancer can move fast enough to take down the wag riders, but they might be able to take down the... Uh, the archer. But I don't particularly want to be bringing, want to be bringing them that close. That would be kind of painful, and very, very regrettable indeed. Um, but let's just have the skeletons move across the back of the map, clear it out of trees a bit, do a bit more hedge trimming as it were. Have a nice, finely trimmed hedge, there we go. And maybe, maybe the wag riders will uh, pass them by on the on route, I don't know. We'll have to find out. Ooh, jeez, that archer is coming right at us. Oh, Laza level 17 farmer, hooray. What are you doing? Oop, guy on the broom is lying. Nope, still good. Yeah, that archer is headed straight for us, it looks like. He shouldn't know where we are. What's going on here? Okay, now he's wandering off. Had me worried for a second there. Yee. Yeah, hopefully when we kill the Necromancer, inevitably, um, we'll, like, actually be able to know- Whoa, 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 Beatrix, what the heck? What are you doing? There are wag riders out here, what are you doing? Oh, she's grabbing the chicken. She'll be really slow if she grabs the chicken. Oh dear. Okay, we need to take out at least one wag rider here. At least that closest one. Oh, jeez. Not good. Okay, um... Oh, and there's farmers over here now, too. Ugh! How many farmers? How many farmers? Just the one? 
Looks like just the one. The other two are over there. Okay, good news for me on that front at least. Okay, let's take it slow. Beatrix, come on. Okay, we need to draw that guy's attention very quickly now. Come on. Draw his attention, come on. Detect, detect. Okay, Goblin Marauder, spotted by Seth Taylor. Good. Good for us right now. Okay, um... Move to right in front of you. As long as he's targeting Seth, he cannot be targeting Beatrix. Okay, move. Need to get you closer to Samantha at this stage. And he can't attack you as long as you keep moving, because he just cannot fire fast enough. Samantha, I have a trick for you. Move my camera. Ooh, we better not hit anybody. Okay, we're down to the wolf. We're down to the wolf. And the wolf is dead. Phew! Samantha has now leveled up to level 5. Hooray! Which I think actually might put her on par with Seth. Seth is... Oh no, Seth, she's higher level than Seth. As should be the way of things. Okay. So... Eh, we probably don't need what's in the wolf, so... That is one Goblin Marauder down. And here comes Beatrix back with the chicken. Can she actually cross the water with the chicken? Apparently she can. I guess it's just like... Sat on her head. <laughs> That's kind of uh, convenient and comical. Uh, okay, so where is the other Goblin Marauder? Uh, we see a tree over there. Uh, there he is. He's to our west. Uh, he's probably stuck in the trees for now, I think. Uh, where's Ellie? Is, has Ellie finished up? Okay, apparently Ellie has finished up being uh, a woodcutter for now. That's good. Oh, right, bit of action, I guess. I'm not even dealing with the we're dealing with a necromancer yet, and I think uh, I think I might call time on meddling with the crops because the amount of fire that's getting across here is just getting a kind of out of out of, out of like crazy levels here. And admittedly, that's partially because me. Um, but, yeah, we we need to deal with this guy. We we can't just, like, keep rallying him around like this. So, I think next episode, we'll call time on our, fa our farms on the mainland. We'll make sure that Rickerman has something to do, I guess, over on the island itself. And we'll... Set the hall's designation to something a bit closer to home. Oh boy, that's going to be an interesting day. Ah, uh, but with that, I'll catch you all next time.